Hello guys and gals and YouTubers, welcome back to episode 16 of My Big Country. So this will be take two. Uh, last night I came on and uh, chopped the trees down around this uh, field here on the edge here. And uh, actually used this brusque here. And uh, occasionally this, this is a really nice uh, chipper, but occasionally once at a blue moon, it will crash your computer so uh, that's what happened last night and it wanted to crash while I was recording so uh, I ended up uh, just doing this work offline uh, while not recording and decided to record uh, this morning here for you guys so uh, you can see where I left what trees I cut down the stumps are still there pretty much cut this line down here which is uh, three trees and that should give me plenty of room to actually turn around with some of the implements here and then um, <clears throat> I cut one over here and I cut one on the other field over there so we're gonna go stump grind these in a minute here so I was actually thinking last night um, these two fields here would be pretty good to connect here all I have to do is uh, cut all these trees down so that might be a project for another day to actually uh, work on and that way I can have this one long field and I don't have to worry about a lot of stuff but uh, we'll see that'll be a future uh, venture uh, maybe near future or distant future so uh, we'll see I think that field I probably can connect to with three and f uh, a little four is a little off but I can always plow that edge there on four a little bit longer. <clears throat> oh, if, uh, to mention about the uh, problem I was having with the uh, sprayer yesterday, actually fixed that problem. It was actually another mod. If you remember with the sprayer here, <clears throat> it wasn't tapping into the other uh, tank while it w had a hired worker. Uh, come to find out after going through all my mods, it would it was the uh, hireables use consume fuel and seeds mod so kinda sucks to have to get rid of it but uh, actually functions now so I can properly use it um, that's an older mod it's been around probably since uh, <coughs> uh, farm sim 2015 came out and um, been through an, the major update 1.2 because 1.2 actually added where uh, in the stock game the uh, workers would use seeds but even though if they get down to 1% they'll magically uh, just tap into your uh, funds and uh, keep going but somewhere along those lines I think um, that mod got messed up hireables consume fuel and uh, seeds so I think it needs to be updated just like a quite a few other mods like this uh, animal HUD mod actually needs to be updated with the uh, water mod so um, honestly don't know why those haven't been updated they're script mods it's not like they're having to wait for a Lua file or anything so um, yeah, let's watch some of this equipment here really quick <coughs> I already did this last night, so I have to do this all over again because the crash um, messed up my game. I, I should put in uh, automatic. Uh, let's make sure those fields are on. Okay. I should put save every five minutes, but when I'm recording, it's kind of a pain in the butt because you get like a freeze every five minutes. <coughs> So I finished uh, sowing those fields, uh, sprayed them so they're all ready. I turned back on the crop growth so we'll probably be done here in a couple days. But in the meantime we'll just uh, get some of this stuff washed and then uh, we'll go stump grind those uh, tree stumps over there. Let me show you which trees I cut down. I still probably need to cut couple more down in another field but for right now I think I got the ones that are giving me problems
Hopefully you guys are doing great on this fine, beautiful, sunny day. It's a beautiful day in New York. Or as my mother-in-law mother used to say, it's a beautiful day in PA. But uh, I'm not living in Pennsylvania right now, so... Miss it, though. It's so weird that New York, where I live right now, is... I'm kind of close to the border of New York and Pennsylvania, but I'm in New York side. <coughs> and it's so funny that two states so close together can be completely different. Uh, they both have their pros and cons, but um, I think if I had to choose, it would be Pennsylvania. Uh, I think the only thing I don't like about that uh, being PA is you got to pay these... Uh, taxes when you start working for the first time there it's called the privilege to work tax it's like some sort of privilege to work in Pennsylvania tax it's kind of a dumb it's not like they found me a job or anything it's just like oh you have a privilege to work in Pennsylvania and I'll dish over a couple hundred dollars Oh, don't worry if you can't pay it up right up front. We'll just take it out of your check every week. Yeah, okay. And then you gotta do your, your school taxes. Everybody's gotta, well, I think you already gotta pay school tax, but you gotta do it yourself. They send you a packet in the mail and you gotta fill it out yourself and it's a pain in the butt. Th what has it been, three years or two years since I've lived in New York and they finally sent us one from years ago. <coughs> You can't get away with it. Not like I was. We were trying to. We just forgot about it. And they sent us a letter yesterday or the other day. My wife had to fill it out. It's a pain in the butt because we had to dig out some tax forms from years ago, a couple years ago. I don't know. But we got it all squared away. Maybe I should wash some of these weights here. I'm in the washing mood for some reason. But, yeah, Pennsylvania is still a beautiful state. I like it. New York, on its other hand, it's got its own uh, cons there. <laughs> we won't get into details anymore because we're not here to talk about the states of the United States. We're here to talk about farming. <coughs> You know, we got to find things to talk about anyways, too, let me do this. All right, fill this guy up. Let's go dump this. I think I'm done with this. Whoa. I cheatedly got rid of the trees, um... Once I chopped them down, I just ran this chipper through there. You can't cut a full tree. Ooh. Oh, I don't have any pigs. I'm a long way from uh, selling pigs right now. But yeah, I've been... Uh, it was a quick way to get through the trees, so I just did it um, while I was not recording that way. Uh, you guys can pretend I actually cut down the trees and uh, delimbed them and whatnot. Um, instead of a cheatily put them in the chipper and the whole tree just magically goes in here and makes chi wood chips. Okay, let's do see how much I sell this for. I actually get pretty good for wood chips. That's one tree right there, I think. One or two trees. <clears throat> Kinda like wood chipping more than um selling logs actually. It's it's kind of fun. 
If I ever connect those fields and cut down those trees, I might just wood chip them all. Bring a big, the big mana chipper or something. Buy the big mana chipper and just uh, do that. Oh, I knew they weren't going to stop. Um, I'm just going to leave this guy at the farm for right now. Because I might need him a little bit later if I have another tree. And I'm kind of done in the forestry area over there for right now. I kind of neatly cleaned it up with the uh, this Bruce chipper over there. The little... Uh, limbs on the ground so there's no limbs on the ground over there now and it's pretty clean looking and I parked everything nice <clears throat> um, where am I going to leave this guy I'm not going to might just leave him here for right now <clears throat> Yep, tis a beautiful day. The sun's out today. Um, another sunny day. Spring's in the air. First day of spring should be next week, I think. Uh, what's the day? The 12th. Yeah, it's next... Uh, not this Friday, next Friday. Pretty excited. Just want this warm weather to come back. I'm not a fan of winter. I used to love winter, like the first winter when I moved here and um, in the East Coast. Uh, it was nice, the first snow, but after that I was uh, pretty much done with it. I'm originally from uh, Arizona, so I'm a child of the sun. <clears throat> I don't know what kind of farmlands would be in the uh, Arizona area or like Phoenix area where I'm from. There is farms um, kind of where I used to live up by the mountains. I think they just you do uh, just your standard stuff. I don't think they do corn really. I don't think I ever saw much corn. <clears throat> A lot of the stuff I saw growing was like orchards, like trees and um, fruit trees and um, probably like potatoes and stuff like that. I know there was one farm that were actually growing flowers, so. I honestly don't remember. I don't think there was corn. Plus their fields out there, they flood them because of the canals. That's how they water a lot of the fields. They get it from the, uh, most of it, water comes from the Colorado River. And they got all these canals and channels that you can actually uh, channel and flood the fields with. And that's how they water them usually. And then there's probably sprinkler systems hooked up to them. I know the property we used to live on that I grew up, it's called a ranch style home, which is just, I guess you can uh, have like animals on there, like horses and pigs and whatnot. I don't think you can have like crops because it's too small. It's only about like an acre or half an acre. But um, once a month, we used to have to flood our, our uh, property through irrigation. <clears throat> Then you flood it, you get a time, like, I think they pay taxes on it once a month or something, but I think you do it, like, for half an hour, and that's how the, pretty much uh, our land was green, being in the desert there. We had a lot of grass, a lot of trees, but you got to make sure you flood it every once in a while, like once a month with the irrigation that way you can water your trees properly but I think after we uh, my parents sold that place uh, all the trees bushes and um, grass died and it went back to its natural state the desert all dry and dirt 
So anyways, I guess I got that last tree. That's the tree that was bothering me. That was um because I had, I think the course play should still be in here. Because this is where I have my overloader semi truck sitting. And that tree kind of bothers where it's at. So all these other trees should be okay. That one should be okay. If I just don't want to have to keep uh, micromanaging in these when they get stuck all the time. So I think that's the last stump. Let's actually park this guy over here. I found a uh, little parking area back here where I can actually put stuff. So I'm actually going to, I'll probably disconnect all this stuff. I'll at least take this stump grinder off. This front loader I can probably use on the farm. Um, should have other implements besides the scoop. <coughs> So that kind of um, solves my problem with space-wise on the uh, farm. I was running out of space over there. Well, done with all that, let's make sure I save it. Well, I got some time here um, before I speed up. Um, don't want to harvest in this episode quite yet, so yeah, I got another scoops right here. Um, let's check out the animals, see how they're doing. <clears throat> Uh, cows are up to 110 production. Oh, there was that's what I wanted to buy. I was just thinking about that the other day. I, since I got quite a bit of money, let's see if I can actually uh, forward any potato or. Uh, oh, die, that's pretty expensive. I actually want to get the big grime equipment. <clears throat> Are these uh, sugar beets separated? Oh yeah, beet harvesting. I don't understand why these can't be the same machines. Are they do these different attachments in the front? Because I thought the uh, the tiger and the um, uh, what's the other one they're coming out with? The um, <clears throat> oh, I can't remember. I thought they did both the uh, harvest of uh, the Homer. I guess they only do one. They're expensive. And I don't want to get these little guys because they take forever when they uh, harvest. Because they, they got like, what do they do? Like one row? And I don't think you can hire them. I could set up on course play, but they still take forever. And I definitely need some um, sugar beets because I want to actually put them in that uh, sugar beet slicer over there so they can uh, feed the cows. So 
So I'm quite off from there. That's another mill right there. Cause then I'll need these guys for the tractors to cut them. I could try these, but what's the width on this? Two meters. That is tiny. That's one row. Man, that'll take all day. <laughs> yeah, and I, the um, animal hood doesn't show the pigs. So this uh, this takes wheat, I believe, right? Or corn, because uh, Landy was trying it on his uh, server and he said it was wheat. They must have changed it because in FS13 it used to be corn. And they do potatoes. Yeah, uh, let me see if the uh, map will actually show me because it should be integrated in the map here. Pigs, production, grain, earth fruits. They don't have any earth fruits. They mix rations. Oh, I need a mixing. <coughs> I actually have the stuff to do. No, I need hay. I need to make hay actually. I do have the grass. It's going to be a little difficult to actually. Um, I might have to uh, make the mix station or buy it because um, the feeding technology, I know how to properly mix this. If I have the bales, the square bales, it takes what uh, one straw, two hay, and the rest is uh, actually silage. Uh, that one I don't quite know, but <clears throat> I'm actually since I don't have bales and I'm scooping them out, I might have to go with the mixing station. <clears throat> that doesn't cost that much, but just don't know where I'm gonna put it. This farm's already a little tight here with uh, space. That would actually be a good spot right here if I got rid of the tree. <clears throat> I don't like that tree. Uh, let me. There's only one way to find out: get the bird's eye view. Oh, it could work there. You don't really have to have access to the back. <clears throat> I'd rather have it closer to these guys over here. I wonder how tight that would be over here. Oh, it's got the feeding trough there. <clears throat> this area might be actually good that way I can back up straight into there well, if I put it there I have to back up and turn right into there sharply this corner might actually be pretty good there for it. <clears throat> yeah, that would probably be the best place if I do it. 
I'll just have to haul stuff all the way over there and now I'm plug it in there. Um, it's probably what I'm gonna do. Uh, it's a little bit easier to do the mix station. Um, if I try to do this machine here without the bales, I'll probably not do it correctly because I don't know how much they take per scoop. And I don't have the mod to actually scoop out of here. Um, yeah, I would prefer to use the conveyor and just put them on trailers. <clears throat> and just back them up into the... Uh, mix station so I'll probably do that because um, a lot of modern maps use that uh, mix station anyway so let's put this guy away here and we'll find a spot for that trailer I'm so used to using that mix station, I honestly never knew that the uh, feeding um, equipment was pretty complicated or not complicated but precise when it comes to actually uh, making the uh, proper ration, mix rash ratio for the uh, mixed rations, I didn't know it was that precise. I thought you just threw things in there and it worked. Which is really neat. I kind of like that. At least they had some sort of a uh, little bit more realism. I could get that mod. Um, um, that allowed me to scoop. Um, hay and grass and whatnot. That way I can scoop out and actually practice with this machine here. Ah, something to chew over actually. Um, don't have any of this stuff in my test world to actually test it out. Dilemma here. I might as well do the mix station because I'll have to have to feed a lot of that uh, mixed rations to the. Uh, gotta do it to the cows. I'm gonna have to do it to the pigs. Uh, sheep don't need it. They just take grass. The only reason I want to probably do the feeding technology is actually um, just do it and practice it because you know even though the mix station makes it easy um, I still want to try it, the uh, feeding um, technology just to get better at it. So we'll just move this out of the way anyways. Um, I don't know where I'm going to park this thing. This thing's a beast. That might be a good spot right there, but I have all my implements there. This is actually the small... Um, version of the jaw skin they have uh, Maury's website <coughs> excuse me they have a bigger one it goes on a semi and it does have attachment to um, another one has an attachment to um, to go on a tractor and it's huge 
So even though this one f seems pretty massive, this is actually the small. <laughs> I know this seems a little boring, guys, but you know, f we're working on the farm. You know, sometimes there's you gotta plan things out too on the farm. Uh, I could park her back in there. I don't typically use this. I'm not gonna typically use this guy a lot. Only when selling, but I probably would prefer it by the pigs. right now we'll just put here until I figure out what I'm actually gonna do I was actually going in pretty good there just got a little confused on the orientation let's back it up probably I was close can that should be good. That's a good spot. It's gonna be my equipment yard right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good place for it out of the way. I actually kind of like it there. This farm's getting pretty cluttered as it is. Uh, I'll leave this guy there. It's not bothering anybody. Uh, if need be, it can always sell that mix station too. It's not like it's a big machine. It's going to be in the way. But before I do that, I still need to buy um, some stuff to make the hay too. Need a tethers by the big guy here. I think I own any. We'll go pick that guy up. front these guys got attached 700 he's got a thousand I don't need that much <clears throat> so we'll go, that's probably what we're going to be doing is cut some grass Let's actually reset it. I want to. I don't want to bore you guys with that. I think I went way too far. I actually have the cash to. to a lot of things so I might actually um, I, I don't know if I have the bigger mower in the back where's my mowing technology it's under mowers no I don't have the back guy I'm gonna buy the back guy too um, since I'm not picking up I'm actually just cutting so Let's reset him. And I got the cash to do it right now, so. And those things right now with my money situation aren't that expensive. So we'll take her out. Uh, I'm gonna get the big uh, black uh, dudes far. I'm gonna hook up the mowers to it. And then I still need. Um, 
Windrow, I think I got one. Might actually need a bigger one, so I'll probably get rid of that guy. This is where all the grass is. Oh, yeah. See, I cleaned up a little bit over here. Parked everything nice, so. Yeah, it's not really anything I really need to buy at them. Anything a big purchase. Um, not really going to get any bigger tractors at the moment. Um, just need those um, sugar beets or potatoes. Figure out what I'm going to do with those. That that stuff's a lot though, because you got to buy the equipment to actually plant. So, oh, I got that little guy there too. I don't need that one. I think some of this equipment I kept because, um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that, guys. I still get a cough now and then. But the other equipment there, uh, the smaller stuff, I was actually saving just in case if somebody wanted to help me. So we'll have like two uh, mowers going. Uh, yeah, I'll use this guy. Let's buy the other Windrow. I want the bigger one. Well, not the biggest one, but bigger than this guy. This one should be. This one should be um, pretty good for right now. This one's a little bit too small. Was that working with eight? Nineteen was a hundred and thirty horsepower. This guy's not a hundred and thirty. I think he's only. Um, Oh, excuse me guys. Oh man. Ah, apologize for that. 190. Hope I didn't blow you guys eardrums out. 190. Um We can always sell this guy if I'm I feel like this one's too small and get this one. I never really tried this one actually yet. So we'll get this guy. Reset everything. And I still have those little ones. Um I I could probably sell those guys. I should probably sell those guys. That little mower and that little uh windrow. See if these guys will let me go. See I wouldn't mind the traffic if they actually stopped further out and let you go but they just like they force their way to like uh, keep going oh this will be good this is a good size right here Oh, we got a little, uh, a little 
production going on here because I need one more tractor because I need the I need to collect it. Got to use this guy here. Flip this over. So I need the uh, forge wagon to actually pick it up. So I need to grab him a weight. Grab him the bigger one. And it should go... Maybe it doesn't go in there. I think that says mixed rations. It says grass. It could be hay too. Straw. What's this over here? I don't see this as a, as a no these are these were sugar beets and potatoes maybe it's this last one no this is wood chips oh uh, yeah where am I gonna do all that if I don't have storage Maybe it's this one? No, oh, it can't be this. Mitch Future. That's mixed rations. Why would that be mixed rations? That would be either silage. I don't know. We'll find out here. Let's do a little bit. I'll do a little bit and then, um, pick it up and find out where I'm going to put it and then I'll probably end the episode and uh, continue this on um, next time Okay, let's try it out.
Actually, you know, I'm doing a step ahead. It's like, why can't that just dry it? You're spreading it, kind of, or bring it together. I actually don't even have to uh, windrow, I just need to pick it up so I can um, see where it needs to go. This thing's neat. I can't believe it stretches that long from that little fold up there. I might actually just windrow it. Yeah, guys. Sorry about that. I'm sure some of you are kind of enjoying this. thing is, if once I get the mix station up, I can always direct feed all this what I need into there. I don't really need to store it. For all I know, the forge wagon might not be able to pick this up. Honestly, I've rarely did uh, hay in my old videos, so... Is it grass though? That looks like grass. It shows it as straw slash grass now. Yeah, I'm definitely a noob when it comes to uh, hay. Maybe that's something I have to bail. I'm sure somebody's yelling at me right now when you're watching this video. But I've honestly have rarely messed around with hay. I want to see what it says when I come up to one of these like oh grass is not accepted here but I'm like oh it's not grass yeah see hmm Does hay? I wonder why he didn't do that.
think it might have triggered to grass because that was the first thing it kind of picked up. It's definitely hay. No, it's still showing its grass. confused right now guys I'm not gonna lie oh that's just the uh Hay mod that I have that it goes bad after a certain time. Maybe um, I can't dry it out because there's too much moisture in the air or something. The the sun's not completely out. There's it's cloudy. That could be a possibility. I really don't know. All right, guys. I'm probably going to end this. I'm going to do a little bit more experimentations off screen so I don't have to uh, bore you guys too much. So. Uh, We'll definitely see you next time and thanks for joining me in this uh, episode of my big country like always have a great day and bye bye